Hello and welcome to Dave's Delightful Dishes. As always, I'm Dave and it's a delight to be back here for part two of the Girl Scout Cookie Challenge. And this one is going to be the peanut butter sandwich crust, which you, if you haven't seen part one yet, you know, go ahead and uh, stop this one. Go back to my go back to my page and watch part one first. Don't worry, we'll wait for you. Okay, so now that you've seen that, let's go ahead and start thinking about this next episode. So we're going to start off with we've already made the uh, the crust for this because you saw it in the last episode. It's the same process, you know, uh, grinding up the cookies adding melted butter and in this case we want to chill the crust before we put it before we put the uh, fillings in it so that was uh 25 of these cookies by the way and i ended up using almost all of them and i need three cups of milk a large bowl a packet of chocolate pudding mix i don't think the brand matters but i think you know which one i might be using that goes in. In goes the cold milk, and it should be cold. And now I've got to stir the Dickens out of this. And I will get back to you once this is pudding. <laughs> well, thank goodness I always wear aprons because, man, pudding sure does seem to get everywhere. And so now that I've got my pudding, which was the three cups of milk in the pudding mix, I need to add in eight ounces of whipped topping. And I have to fold this in. And this is going to lighten it and make it kind of like a mousse. All right. I'm going to call it good enough. You can never get every last little piece. And we're going to fold this together. See, it's just a smooth folding action. And we're trying to add volume as we go. And you just keep going until it stops looking streaky and looks like it's basically one color. I'm going to expect this to take, you know, a couple minutes. Because you don't want to just beat it because that'll make all the, all the height from your whipped topping go away. So it's more of a fold and turn, fold and turn. All right, I'm going to go ahead and grab the crust and we're going to put these together. Okay, we've got a nice chilled crust. We've got some nice cold uh, pudding. And what's nice about this is this is going to be more than what fills that pan. So I'm going to have some chocolate mousse for later also. It's a gift that just keeps on giving. I would put some in, smooth it out, put a little more in, smooth it out, and try to get it all the way up to the edges. And if there's little bits of uh, little bits of that chocolate powder just making little crunchies in there, that's okay too, because we're gonna add our own here at the end. Perfect. And I've got enough left for a snack later. So that's enough filling. You could probably make two of these pies if you wanted to. But uh, I'm doing one pie, and then I'm going to probably get some chocolate in my beard later. So we're almost done here. Oh, a little messy. We got one last thing to do, and I'm going to push this off to the side while we do it. We have the other type of peanut butter cookie. They're peanut butter patties. And I guess I'm going to have to go find some more Girl Scouts because I'm using up the last of my wife's peanut butter patties for this. But we'll figure it out. We're going to take a plastic bag and I'm going to take, you know, three, let's do one, let's do one part. Let's do five of these cookies and I'm going to take a rolling pin and I'm going to beat them up. I'm going to roll them a little bit if you want to use a hammer <laughs> and you know, I like my mallet that I have here. But we're just trying to break these up into kind of crummy, crunchy bits. 
and then I'm going to take my pie and we we'll take a handful of this peanut butter crumbs and I'm going to sprinkle it over the top. And you get these big chocolate pieces. That's just fine too. That's just extra great for somebody else. Yeah, I'd say three to five of these crackers is about enough. Or these cookies is about enough. And then I'm going to take the rest of these peanut butter uh, bits and throw them into the pudding. Or as toppings on these little pudding cups I'm going to make with the leftovers. And as you can see, this is pretty delightful. What we need to do now is we need to put this in the fridge and let it chill and harden overnight. And then it's ready for service. And uh, there we go. Challenge accepted. Challenge delivered. Girls, thank you so much for this. I was able to... Uh, Make some really nice desserts, and I hadn't wouldn't have even thought of it. I just would have eaten these. I just would have eaten these these cookies just like a beginner. So I appreciate it. Uh, sell more cookies. People buy more cookies. This is for a good cause. And uh, if you haven't already, let me know what you think about all this, and tell me where my what my next challenge is going to be. Uh, if you haven't, like hit like and subscribe, and check out my Instagram page, which will be in the description, as well as my Facebook channel for Dave's my Facebook page for Dave's delightful dishes which also has this, uh, a link to Spreadshirt so you could check out my new aprons or any of my other accessories and merchandise that are there. Give it a shot. I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind having you as a supporter. But in the meantime, enjoy your desserts, and I'll see you at the next recipe.